Seven Spectacular Cave Paintings. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number seven, Cumberland Plateau. These most ancient examples of cave and rock artwork remained hidden for over 6,000 years, but archaeologists discovered it in 2013 at Tennessee's Cumberland Plateau. Some of it was found deep inside caves and some of it in the open air. Rock art is typically thought to have been drawn as part of ceremonies and rituals by Native Americans and other races. Some of the pictures were even drawn into mud. It was used because the material was readily available and was favored by prehistoric cave artists. Certain images include drawings of canids, or wild dog-like creatures such as wolves. Archaeologists noted several themes emerging in the artwork. A common motif in open-air rock art was a simply rendered anthropomorph, or a human form with details like eyes, horns, or hands. Also commonly found were petroglyphs, or rock carvings. Other works of rock art found included a depiction of birds thought to be turkeys. Winged pictographs representing avamorphs or bird-like creatures were also discovered. Ceremonial actions, mythical creatures, and a selection of birds and reptiles were also included in the amazing array of artwork. Faded images found at the Cumberland Plateau are thought to represent the most varied assemblage of such artwork yet found in the U.S. Number six, Etzera Cave. The first ever art gallery may have been discovered in northern Spain near the Bosque city of Bilbao. Deep within the Etzera Cave, at least 70 cave paintings have been found. The pictures are thought to date as far back as 14,500 years ago. The paintings span around 100 meters and are mostly depictions of bison, goats, horses, and deer. The caves were first discovered in 1929, but the sprawling art collection wasn't discovered until 2015. It was found about 300 meters into the cave, but over thousands of years, the pictures have faded and are nearly invisible to the untrained eye. Some of the photos show where researchers have highlighted the forms of certain animals to make them easier to depict. With an estimated origin as far back as 14,500 years, the paintings would have been created during the upper Paleolithic period, an era that lasted until around 10,000 years ago. Humans took great strides in cultural advancement, and basic forms of drawing, painting, and even music began to emerge. Over the next few years, researchers plan to continue exploring at Zura. In order to preserve their findings, the cave will stay closed to the public. Number 5 the Caves of Nurha. Located in Andalusia, the Nurha Caves is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Spain, and it's the home of the world's largest stalagmite, standing 105 feet tall. Just thought you'd like to know that. The spectacular series of caverns is also home to some paintings thought to be at least 42,000 years old, and created by Neanderthals. It's considered an academic bombshell, as all previous artwork was credited to Homo sapiens. Six paintings of seals were found in the cave, and are thought to represent the only artistic images ever created created by Neanderthals. They lived in the caves and were known to eat seals before becoming extinct around 30,000 years ago. Number 4. Sulawesi, Indonesia. Cave artwork almost as old as that found in Europe has been discovered in Indonesia. A team of Australian and Indonesian archaeologists discovered animal drawings and hand stencils drawn onto the sites of limestone caves in the southwestern area of the country, and it's been radiocarbon dated to around 40,000 years old. The research team found a hand stencil that was around 39,000 years old, making it the oldest of its kind on Earth. In total, the team found found figurative animal depictions including a babaruza or deer pig and 12 hand stencils. Given the similarities in age between the site in Sulawesi and Spain's El Castillo cave, which dates around 40,800 years old, plus a distance of some 8,000 miles between the sites, questions arise as to where the creation of art may have first occurred. Number 3. Shavit Cave. The prehistoric paintings found here are some of the earliest in the world. It was discovered in 1994 and contains depictions of at least 13 various animal species, including cattle mammoths, cave lions, rhinos, cave hyenas, and human handprints. 
Radiocarbon dating revealed the artwork to be over 30,000 years old. Experts have found that there were two main phases of human occupation within the caves, the first of which lasted from 37,000 to 33,500 years ago and would have overlapped with cave bears. However, that doesn't mean humans and cave bears were both living in the caves at the same time. The second phase lasted from 31,000 to around 28,000 years ago. A rock fall that occurred during the second phase closed off the cave entrance, which may partially explain why the cave was undiscovered for so long. The bad news is, the location is closed to the public to preserve the artwork. Ah, but here's the good news. There is actually a man-made version of this historic site. The prehistoric artwork has actually been replicated in the Caverne du Pont d'Arc, located a few miles away from the original site. It contains around a thousand intricately reproduced drawings in addition to around 450 bones and additional features. Experts used advanced scanning and 3D modeling techniques to correctly position every detail correctly on the walls of the replica cave. Number 2. The Lascaux Caves This location in southwestern France comprises a complex of caves famous for its Paleolithic cave paintings. The artwork consists primarily of larger animals and are estimated at over 17,000 years old. Overall, the cave contains around 2,000 figures, which can be grouped into three main categories – human figures, animals, and abstract signs. The entrance to the cave was discovered in 1940 and was open to the public in 1948. However, the cave was closed to the public in 1963 to preserve the art. Contaminants produced by 1,200 visitors a day had begun to visibly damage the artwork. But in 1983, Lascaux II opened. It's a replica of the cave and art located 200 meters away from the original. This way, visitors can still enjoy the expressive lines and bold colors of the original work without damaging the prehistoric originals. Now, you might recall a similar strategy was undertaken by Chauvet Cave, also in France. This full-scale reproduction took a decade to complete and hosts around 300,000 visitors a year. Number 1. The Cave of El Castillo the Paleolithic paintings found here date back at least 40,800 years, and many consider it to be the oldest example of European cave art. This location has some of the most iconic cave art yet found. The Panel of Hands is a series of hand stencils created by blowing or spitting paint onto the walls of El Castillo Cave tens of thousands of years ago. You can clearly see the detail in this picture by Pedro Suara, as well as others taken by the photographer. It almost looks like someone created the stencil with a modern-day can of spray paint. From a distance, the hand stencils look like a series of crimson dots on the cave wall. The caves contain over 100 different images in multiple chambers. That includes depictions of bison. Now, in the picture by Pedro Suara, you can see the outline of the animal up and to the left of the panel of hands. The artwork has inspired debate whether it was created by modern humans or Neanderthals. In recent years, archaeologists have found evidence that Neanderthals made jewelry, decorated themselves with paint and feathers, and likely had a language. Some experts believe it's possible they also had artistic talents as well. <laughs>